right now, you're unlawfully detaining me because you have no proof other than somebody's account of something that may or may not have happened. Therefore, you are accusing me of being guilty instead of presuming innocence. Yes, you are, because otherwise I would not be quote unquote detained right now and I could get in my vehicle and I could travel away from this area. This is no different than a traffic stop. This is different than a traffic stop. When you stand up for your rights, you stand up for everyone's rights. When you just comply and give up your rights, you empower tyrants and make it dangerous for everyone else. Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Today's video comes to you from Rocky Mountain High Company. I think this guy's channel is important because we can all learn something from it, especially this video. This man refuses to identify after they keep trying. Here's your video, folks. Hey man, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. So we got a report, he's, you know, this vehicle driving around, yelling at people, going the wrong way on a one way. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, well I didn't call you guys, so nope, you, you should didn't. probably go find them, talk to them. No, nope, we had the person call saying, you're you driving around, we're doing that. So well, we're just trying obviously to figure I'm out what's parked, going on, man. So. All right, so where'd you come from initially? That's none of your concern? Well, yeah, it is, because I'm here investigating the situation, man. Okay, what crime have ID? I committed? Well, driving the wrong, wrong way on a one-way. Can you show me where I, can you show me where I went a wrong way? Like I said, man, we're You can go to talk to the bank out. manager because they have already talked about this. Okay. And I'm, I have no, I'm so, not answering any of your questions. So then why did we get a call? Again, not answering your questions. Okay, what, why did we get a phone call about you Why don't you call the, the person way? who made the call and then find out from them why you received a call. We, they told us you Okay, drove again, the wrong I'm not way asking or answering you, any questions. And then yelled at them when you when they addressed when again, they contacted. I'm not answering any questions. Uh, do you have your ID, sir? Again, what crime have I committed and what crime have I been suspected of committing in order to show you my ID? Reckless driving. Okay, can you prove that? Right now we just have a word of the Again, we're investigating. That's a sir. word that is not a crime. It's I'm not giving you my ID until you have shown me where I've committed a crime. Mm, sir can again, I see your ID? No, you may not. All right, what's your name? Again, I'm not answering any questions. You're not going to answer any questions. Nope. And this right here is why this video is valuable to our understanding of the law. If you have loved ones, especially teenagers, you might want to pay attention. Someone called the police and made some allegations that the man was driving on the wrong side of the road. So the cops responded to the call. I will say that all in all, the cops did their best to get ID and for the man to say enough to incriminate himself but he didn't. What's important to understand is the fact that there is absolutely no victim here. Maybe some hurt feelings, and that takes us to another important aspect of this video. What if one of your haters makes false allegations on you and tries to use police to harm you in any way? We've seen this happen before. An ex-girlfriend, for example, doesn't want you to leave with another girl, a prettier or nicer one as a matter of fact, and she makes up stories when calling the cops. And this is why the cops couldn't force the man to identify. This man knew what to say and also what not to say. Keep watching and also share this video with your favorite people. They can use this information in their lives. Keep watching. All right, can we can we have a conversation then of what no, happened? No, I told you, I'm not answering any questions. Why? Why? Go find the individual that made the call. You have business with them. You don't have any business with me. No, I do we not have consent. Business with you no, you don't. You're the one they're called about you. So that means our business is also with you. We have to contact the RP, we're gonna contact that individual, but we also need to talk to you as well. There's two sides to every story, right? They're given their side of the story. What's your side Again, of the story? Again, go talk to the bank manager or the individuals within the bank or the individual that made the call. I have no I have no business right. with you. We can hang out, but we're hanging out outside your car. Yep. That's the deal. So if I'll I'm... happily go talk to the bank managers and stuff, but you need Am to Am I being detained? Car. At this time, yes. Okay, you have two minutes That's for detainment. So, I'm on Again, camera. I understand, and I'm not trying to be a pain, That's but I am fine. not answering your questions because I have no, I do not consent to this, yeah. and I ha I'm not the one that called you. You guys should, you need to go find who called you, and you need to have that issue with them. You don't have to be happy about what's going on, I understand that. But when we're investigating a crime, you do have to identify yourself. That well, is one of the few things that that's you That's only have to do. if I am You're convicted of a crime yeah. and or suspected, then you can arrest me, in which you'll have a lawsuit. I'd rather not do that. One of the things that you are required to do when police are Again, investigating Again, I'm not giving crime, you my ID because I have not been convicted of a crime. You, don't, you can't be convicted of a crime unless we know who we're talking to. Well, that's not how that works. Again, I have not been convicted of a crime. You guys did not physically see it. There is no injured party, and that is unconstitutional. 
not going to sit here and argue with you. Well, you're trying to get me to have a conversation with you, which isn't going to happen. You need to go have a conversation again with the individuals within the bank or the person who made the call. And that's what he's doing. Okay. So as long as we can sit out here, we don't that's have to I'm, talk. Can I put my keys in my pocket? Absolutely. Okay. Can I put these documents through here? Uh, yeah. There's nothing in them. No worries. It's just what I came to the bank for. Nope. As, as long pen. as we, yep. As long as we can stay outside, I'm, then I then I don't have any issue. That's fine. answer your question before i don't know if you've got the answer the suspected crime is careless driving okay well i'm just i want to see I'm, proof I'm not i want to see at proof. arguing with you i'm just telling you you asked the Show question me. i'm answering i get that I, I don't have a video camera in my okay. car that watched you do it then you I'm cannot not, be the injured I'm not party then to argue with you. i get that I'm just telling you. but you cannot be the injured party you cannot convict me of a crime right now correct I'm because not you are not the one that saw the supposed or alleged thing happened that'd be a witness i'm a cop exactly and so right now you're unlawfully detaining me because you have no proof other than somebody's account of something that may or may not have happened therefore you are accusing me of being guilty instead of presuming innocence yes you are because otherwise i would not be quote unquote detained right now and i could get in my vehicle and i could travel away from this area this is no different than a traffic stop it, this is different than a traffic stop because you have, unlaw again, unlawfully detained me with the quote-unquote reasonable suspicion of committing a crime, which you do not have any witness, which I have the constitutional right per my Sixth Amendment to see my witness. Where is this witness? You have a right to confront your witness yes. in a court. Okay. That's how that works. You good hanging out for a sec? Yeah. I'll be right back Look. if you want to hang for a sec. All right, man. So here's where we're at with everything. Text the bank manager. Fortunately, they don't have cameras in the uh, par uh, parking lot. They said that you and another customer got into a little argument out here over driving stuff. Each one seemed to accuse the other one of driving poorly, driving too fast, whatever it may have been. They said you did admit to at one point driving down the wrong way of a one-way street. No, I didn't. Well, that's what the bank manager just told me. No. She said, I, I bet you she said that I, it looked as if, I'm pulling into a parking lot, show me Sir, where the one way is. I'm telling you exactly what she just told me. I want to see where the one way is. And if, where's the one way and I want to see the video. They don't have video. Okay, sir. well then you cannot convict sir, me of a crime. I'm not, can, can, we, can you let me talk? I'm being very polite and calm. And I'm being irritated because yes, you, you guys are. are preventing me. You guys are illegally detaining me right now. This is called kidnapping at the moment because you are not letting me travel from my it's area not. to continue with my life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is a it's violation not. of my constitutional We're rights. We're detaining you in the investigation of a possible crime. Which okay. Are legally Show me the proof. That's why it's called an investigation, sir. If you'll let me finish talking, we'll get you on your way. No, because you're trying to identify me, and I haven't been convicted of a crime. Well, I have not committed a crime either. So part of so legally, if no, we not are legally. Legal, this sir, is not a stop and ID sir, state. This is not legally, a stop and ID if we state. We are investigating a crime. You are legally required to identify yourself. No, I'm not. You are. I'm not going to push it though. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you what the bank manager told me because you told me to go talk to the bank manager, right? I, I told that you to go talk to the bank, yes. And what did they do? And so, I told you to find the other individual that quote and my, unquote made and this. And another officer called and spoke with her. Okay. Okay? So let me talk. Continue. Is that go ahead. Fine? I'm, the bank manager told me that you admitted to driving on the wrong, the wrong way on a one way. You two got into a little argument in the parking lot. The other person doesn't want anything done right now. So we're done. Well, then am I free to go? Yes. Then have a good day. I got to say that I did appreciate the fact that the cops didn't arrest this guy. They didn't threaten to arrest him as well. Because we have seen that cops do arrest people sometimes for failure to identify and stuff like that. Even though... 
failing to ID is a secondary charge. Before you guys go, we're going to teach you some police talk. The first thing we're going to talk about is RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion. Cops need to have RAS in order to actually detain you and to demand identification. Now let's talk about SAF, S-A-F, a single articulable fact. Cops need to have SAF in order to actually arrest you. It's important that you guys learn these alphabets and the police talk. That way you guys can use it when you need to. It is recommended by many, as well as myself, to never speak to police unless you have an attorney. The only time I ever recommend you speak to police is when you're actually educating them. Never talk yourself into a hole, folks. That's what cops are looking for. They want you to incriminate yourself. We've seen that in this video. One more thing before you go, and I think this is extremely important. Make sure you guys know and understand what the First Amendment of the Constitution is. You have a freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to assemble, and freedom to petition your government for a redress of grievances. Those mirror your natural rights. So important the Second Amendment was written to protect it. The Bill of Rights and the Constitution was not written to give you your rights. Those documents were written to limit the scope of authority that public officials have over you. From sea to shining sea, we are seeing people pick up cameras and record police and hold them accountable and put them in check, just like this guy did. There's something that I like to say oftentimes when I'm out there recording and people try to take away my rights. I like to tell them, what kind of American would I be if I had to ask permission to be free? I think I'm actually going to make a t-shirt of that and put it on my channel. I'll start working on that today, folks. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, you might want to do that now and share my channel with friends and family. And let them know that if they have any videos of police that they want to send us, our email is recordpolicenow at gmail.com. We recommend you guys upload it to YouTube first, then copy your link and paste it on the email and send it to us. Give us as much information as possible. That way you help us make it easy. And also, you guys go subscribe to Rocky Mountain High Company. Let them know I sent you. I really appreciate the support you give me and all the channels. All right, folks, I've taken enough of your time today. But if you want to watch more videos like this, Go back and binge watch my channel. You guys will learn a lot from it. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.